Come on, Tim. We've got it, Watson. Put your general alarm. We can't hold it. Pull out every available brigade in the area and hurry. Right, sir. when he invented the BBC, didn't they? And they laughed at Mr. Paul when he invented Littlewood. But look at the money they've made. Yeah, but their inventions didn't stink. I didn't expect to put fires out with that washing day mixture of yours. Yeah. Washing day mixture? I like that. It's a scientific formula. It's, um, it's K2SO4 plus, uh, uh, plus K3LO5 yeah. plus, uh, plus X. Yeah, what's X? Well, if I knew what that was, I wouldn't be standing here listening to you talking to him, would I? Anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not what I tried to last time. Hello. <clears throat> this is Bishop Swallop Fire Chief speaking. Who? Headquarters? Oh, oh, oh yes. uh, what's it, sir? Oh, no, sir, no. No, there'll be no fire here. No. This is no time for you, sir. There's an oil factory blazing at Lake's Cross. Why haven't you answered the brigade call? Oh, because there's been no call here. <clears throat> you sure you've got the right number? Huh? It's ringing now? Oh, no. No, our alarm's not ringing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a technical issue. Now, wait, yes. Hey, we'll, we'll come along at once. We'll get up all the way. Hey! How long has that sock been there? Oh, ever since you had his song here. Well, that was last Sunday. Yes. Well, take it out at once. There will have been no fires this week. Oh! 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 Hey, who's had the hose? You had it, Lars, watering the garden. Well, never mind who had it. You won't get it now, but who had it? Where's Percy? Standing by, I suppose. Well, come think of him. We can't go to a fire without him. Oh, I right, keep your wool on. Give me a moment. Oh, wait a minute, I'll take them down. 
Yes, what is it? I'm a part of the demo there, yes. Part of the streaky baiting, yes. What's that? Whoa, 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 Parky! All right, sir, come in right away, sir! Right? All right! Somebody. Well, that'd be silly. We can't go to someone and say, Where's the fire? Why not? Well, it look bad. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you something. Right. He's like, Scott. Yeah, fluent. Eh? Well, I. Yes, and there's our fire. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlie. Got the pictures? Here you are. We'll just make that unconditional. Excuse me, this is the quickest way to the fire, isn't it? What fire? Well, the big oil fire. It's been put out of together. Yeah. We've come all this way for nothing. All oh, what way? From the Bishop Waller. Well, but that's only 12 miles. Only well, 12 miles? Good heavens, you see much farther than that the way we came. Charlie. Yeah. Get a picture. This will make a great story. Okay, I'll go and get a place. Hey, hey, about that fire. You better read about it. And don't go away. Well, factory blaze. Flames 90 feet high. 50 fire brigades take all night to quell. Oh, he's right. That put it out. Oh, we better go home then. Well, she's a pity after coming all this way, doesn't it? Hey, look at this stock bed. Maybe there's a little bit still burning. Yeah. Oh, there's another fire. Yeah? Town Hall ablaze. Did you say what town hall? Yeah, town. Good. Yeah. Hey, this one of town hall ablaze. Yeah. Hey, we better go back at once. Come on, all hands to take first and second away. I'll ring the bell. Uh, hey, you. Bring up this one. Tell him on the way and see if he comes to get back. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Go on. <laughs> The engine that never got there. They are with the laughing stock of the whole country. Look. Our old town hall burnt under our noses, thanks to this trio of blundering incompetence. Mr. Mayor, during the past six months, 17 of our valuable properties have been destroyed by fire. And what is more, there is no record of any of them having been put out. Uh, uh, objection. Uh, if they hadn't been put out, they'd still be burning, wouldn't they? That remark is out of order. Oh, oh, just a moment, uh, please. I see there's one here that was put out. Oh, was it? Which one was that? A beach farm on the night of October the 1st. Beach farm. Beach farm. That's right. Don't you remember? It came on the right. Uh, <coughs> yes, it's quite right. Beach farm. Even so, they still leave 16 properties destroyed by fire. There's been nothing in the town hall. This wasn't our fault. We were at another fire. Exactly. We can't put out two fires at once, can we? No, we've only got one square there. But you can put out either fire, sir. That's <laughs> the marks out of order. Oh, no, it isn't. Yes. Oh, is it? No. It's just my one. Anyway, it's in very bad taste. I have you expected to be efficient when you never give us any money for equipment. We gave you 20 pounds for equipment. Uh, last June. Yeah. For equipment? Oh, let me. I thought that was a bonus. Last June? No wonder he went to Black Gold. Thanks for saying, Danny. I propose to sack the lot of them and save the town a hateful rate. There you are, a hateful rate. I mean, what sort of farm do you expect to get for two a penny? Fifty measly quid a year to keep three men and a horse, and you're fitting the sack because we can't put out two buyers at once. I demand a vote. Yes. Yes. One moment, gentlemen, please. I think there is something in what Captain Viking said. Yes. I think we might give him one more chance. You're wasting your time, yes. sir. Oh, no, he's not, sir. It will mean, Viking, that we should draw the next part as a test kit. Quite, sir. We expect you to reach it at once and to put it out immediately. You can consider it out now, sir. <coughs> In the meantime, I would suggest you take a trip to London to study their latest firefighting methods. Uh, uh, London? London? London can't teach me anything. Why, with my invention, I, I can... I think it would be a very good idea, Captain Viking. Oh, well, if you insist. <coughs> what day should we make it? Yes, I can send it. We can see the cup as well. Yes, shut up. 
Um, you see now, uh, uh, what about Saturday? I think that might be arranged. Oh, good. I shall want some money for three first-class tickets. Very good. Yes, and see that you buy on this time. Not one first and two platform tickets like the last time. That wasn't my fault. So you booked it made a mistake. I asked for three platform tickets. <coughs> Five again. Forward. <laughs> Purpose of life. Now, this is the latest Elton Street site, Lehman. Oh, Lehman, but. Hmm. But ours is much earlier, model, although the uh, principle's the same. Yes. Yeah. How I can use squirt. I beg your pardon? How I can use squirt. Uh, he means uh, to what altitude can you project a jet of water? No, I don't. I mean, how I can use squirt. Under full pressure, this engine is capable of pumping 900 gallons per minute. Ah, 900, eh? That's ah, not bad. Of course, that's just a few more gallons than our engine pumps. Yeah, nearly 900 more. I, uh, I suppose, um, uh, what's the name, make quite a bit of money out of inventing a thing like this. Well, they seem to do very well out of it. Ah. <clears throat> yes, I say, uh, uh, supposing a man invented a preparation that will put out a big fire, uh, like that one at Lake Scott, say, in 15 minutes. Oh, he'd make a fortune. Oh. Well, you know someone who's done it. Uh, well, I know someone who thinks they has. Oh, uh, yes, uh, what's that, huh? No, it's fine. the oh. Look at that. Twenty nine. How's that for a smart turn up? Oh, not bad, not bad at all. Of course, we have done it in twenty six. Twenty six? Well, I know it was well under the half hour. You mean it takes you 26 minutes to turn up? Well, you must remember we're not mechanized. So we've got a horse, and sometimes it takes a quarter of an hour to find him. I see. Well, I suggest the sooner you bring your brigade up to date, the better. These two mention, Mr. Uh, Viking. The Viking. Viking. Right. 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 Uh, up to date. Who do you think he is? He's only a fireman the same as us. London Swank. Uh, you wait till we're mechanized. Hey, you mean to say we're going to have some pole boards, some poles, the same as this? Exactly. Oh, well, then it's a good job I'm not there, though. Look. <laughs> Can't I take you anywhere without you knocking something off? Hey, have you knocked off anything, too? Yeah. What? I, I mean, it's a bit of nose. I, I'm not going to be a party to it. Well, what do you want us to do? Put it all back again? Certainly not. I think we've nothing but a lot of feet. Well, make up your mind. What do you want us to do with it? Get out of it before they finish it. Go on, get out. Get out. <laughs> All right, all right. We're doing it as fast as we can. Come on, it's my go now. You think I could have a turn? Okay, you finish it off. Well, this end's thick and the other end's thin, you see. We're trying to put the thick end up. 
Oh, what difference does that make? Well, did you mean if anything's standing on its feet in? Stalk still. And stalk stand on that in. What are you talking about? In in. I mean, you'll get one on your big end in a minute. Well, go on, help me put it in. Right. We'll have to take it out in the street and, and bring it in the other way around. Right. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Take it back to you. Now, now, come on, now, back, back. Oh, dear. Oh, how did that happen? Uh, you wait here. Hey, hey. Oh, there you are. What do you think you're playing at? Are you in charge of this car? I am. What the devil do you mean by smashing my window? Listen, it's entirely your own fault. Don't you know it's illegal to park outside a fire station? I love you summons for this. Police! Police! Oh, oh, oh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to be truculent. It's an accident. It doesn't happen to anybody. Our bottle, come out here. I didn't do it. Never mind who did it. Help me get it out. Yes, sir. Who? Who made that noise? Mice. Mice? Oh, ah, shut up. Hi, get that car out the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, hey, you, you! Stop making that noise! This gentleman was here before you! Well, it's no use taking it back again, so they're quicker to push it through. Push it where you like, but get it out of here! It's kind of doing it! Now, get it of it! Let it heat! Yes, mine and gentlemen's feet! We don't stop, we'll go away and leave it here! Now, come on, do me! Heat! 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 I say it! What? Do you know you're holding all the traffic up? Do we know we're holding it? Go away and play with it. Get out of it. Now, oh, come on, heave and now that you push. Come on. Now, it's no harder than that. Come on. Heave. 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 Get away from me. Hey, hey, let go of all your fools. Will you tell me to heave? Yeah, but you'll be one heaving front all the time. Now. Uh, what are we trying to do? We're trying to turn our pole around. Oh, uh, with what object? Will you push off? Are you going to get this thing out of my car or not? Oh, that's all right. We're doing our best, aren't we? You know you're defeating your own purpose. Huh? I have it here. According to Proposition 5 of the Second Book of Euclid, if a straight line is divided equally and also unequally, the rectangle contained by the unequal parts and the square on the line between the points of section are together equal to the square on half the line. Yes. Well, what's that going to do with me? Well, assuming the street to be the rectangle, by withdrawing the straight line, i.e. the pole, within the point of section, i.e. the china shop, the traffic may proceed. Q-E-D. Uh, well, shall I tell you something? Yes. You can proceed. Yes. Uh, come on, let's get this thing simple. All right, all right. It's simple. All we've got to do is to take it in the china shop and let the traffic proceed. You stay here. Uh, I'll come with me. Now, uh, you go inside and see the other end. Okay. Right out of the way. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, ready, Hamadou? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Please. Uh, what's going on here? And what are you doing? I'm holding the end of this boat. Watch that in the service. I said, watch it, not smash it. So this ends against the wall, but if you slew your end round a bit, I might get it through that door. How about Shove your end round to your left a bit. Right. You know what you've done to my big one? Take my boat, put him the other end. Hey, you're making that noise. You're doing better come and do it. I see. It says here that if two circles touch one another externally, the straight line which joins their centers will pass through the point of contact. Yes, well, we've just done that. Oh, yes, I'm aware of that. But going to the prescribed limits of the rectangle, i.e., the street being less than the inordinate length of the straight line, i.e., the pole, you're attempting to turn the greater into the left, which is absurd. The pole should be elevated above and insular. QED. Can't do him. Certainly not. I'll do it myself. Get out of it! Get out of it! Okay, perfectly simple. All we're going to do is to elevate the pole to the perpendicular. Ah, what's up? Come here. You go and take it into the pole and raise it as high as you can. Okay. You can't get away with this. I can't even go and take my pole. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care about my pole.
Oh, it's not your stomach. That is your abdomen. Your stomach is up here. Look, look, look. What's going on here? You're not an abdomen. You mean stomach. Well, it's not complete. Now it's out. Give me a go. Oh, yes, you can. You increase the angle of the base by raising the apex of the hypotenuse. I.e., by leaning out of that window and dislodging the far extremity of the pole, QED. QED? I'll give you an S.O.C.T. in the I.E. if you don't be out. Oh, E.G. Albert, get up in that room and see if you can shift it. Oh, 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 as a bug. Never mind, my foot. What's all that round about? Hi, Doctor. I'll be quiet. Oh, we're having a bit of bother without Bo. Let's do an MXFT. Can you come over a bit? Ow! Oh, my foot! I can't! I'll get this. Let's just see who's great. Well, push it. Don't get it. Leave the bother out. I can't. Old Tom's is in bed here. I've got to mind this foot. All right, I'll come up. Oh, well, it won't be long now. The governor's coming up. He'll see that nothing goes right. I won't have people. Nothing in the boat. Oh, Ruth, you get out, too. Oh, Mr. Tonks, how's the foot? Got a blanket over here. I've been all in peace and quiet. Bend it. Nothing like it. Oh, get out of my way. Come on, get out of it. I told you it's done. Well, all you're going to do is to use your wits to talk. Ah, oh, here we are. Ah, give me that foot. Come on. Won't work. Yeah, you mind your own business. Hey, come on, help me shove him in the corner. Now, come on. Here, yeah, we can't pull this by ourselves. Oh, I will get some help. Hey, be quiet down there, will you? Oh, 
the hose. Watch it out. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, this is Spikey, Spikey, the Bishop Waller speaking. Yes. Hey, I've done it. I've done it. I found out what egg is. No, not an egg. Egg. Yes. I'm going to invent it. can't make arrangements as quickly as that. Give me your name and the details, and the committee will write you. Yes. K2SO4. Plus KCLO5. Yes. Plus X. X? What is it? Yeah, would you like to know, eh? <laughs> I suppose you'd like to jump in ahead of me and get your name on the packet. Yes, well, I'm not going to tell you. You put that before your committee, and I'll supply the X. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, we're going to be famous. Some of our photographs on the front page of every newspaper in the country. Oh, like Garbo and Guinness. Yeah, Garbo and Guinness. Some of that's all you think about, women and wine. Oh. Hey, look, I'm going to be famous. Get it off, I tell you. 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 Get Fire Captain in? Uh, oh, well, that depends. I mean, uh, you haven't come on behalf of someone, have you? As a matter of fact, we have. Uh, oh, well, I'm afraid he won't see you. No, we haven't come with a red buddy. We've got a swell proposition for him. Oh, well, in that case, I am the captain. How are you? Cut the clowning and get the captain, will you? Oh, but I am the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Why, don't you believe me? Albert, 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 come here. Hey, tell these gentlemen what I am. What out, Yeah. Hey, hey, no funny gags. Am I, am I not the fire captain? Oh, that. Yes, he is the captain at the moment. Well, I'm glad to know you, Captain. We're from the Gorms for a picture corporation. Oh. Uh, uh, well, we don't want to buy any pictures. We've got one upstairs. You don't understand. We make films, movies, pictures. Oh, I'd like to go on a picture. Yeah. Well, I stand in for the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We're not wanting any actors as yet. We're making an historical picture called The Conquest of Fire. And oh, I see. It's sort of a blazing through the eight. Exactly. And we want your fire engine. Yeah. You want what? We want your fire engine. We'll give you a good price for it. Certainly not. We'll make it worth your while. I'll bet you would. Well, the idea is preposterous. You might as well go to some packing station and ask them for a couple of platforms. Okay, <laughs> if you can afford to turn down <laughs> real money. <laughs> oh, oh, well, uh, uh, how long would you want it for? Oh, just a few hours. Hey, but suppose the fire alarm went while it was away. Huh. We can easily stop that. Ow. Put a stock in it. Uh, uh, yes. Um, you see, it's... Um, it's worth 20 pounds for it. Well, uh, there are a lot of other film companies after our engine, too, you know. Uh, all right. 30 pounds. Yeah. That's better. And now, and the balance when we take the engine. It's a deal. Uh. Uh, I suppose we couldn't have the balance now and the other 10 when you take the engine. I can see you're a businessman. All right. 10 pounds more. Can I have a receipt for it? Blimey, you can have the station for it. Hey, you speak when you're spoken to. Give me a piece of paper. How would you like the receipt worded? Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Received on account, 20 pounds. P.S. Uh, 10 pounds to come. There you are. Well, you better keep ringing me up every morning to see when you can have it. When we can have it? Yeah. But we want it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, no, that's impossible. No, oh, I've got a very important demonstration to do first. Why are you double-crossing? Uh, when did you figure on us having it? Well, let me see. Today's Monday. Uh, if they test my formula on Wednesday, you can have it on Thursday. Or at any rate, Friday. Well, if that's the way it is, Cap, I guess that'll have to do. I'll phone you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Come on, divvy up. I want my ten quid. Uh, your ten quid? Oh, I like that. Three's in the thirty, that's ten quid each. Come on, cough up. I'll do nothing of the kind. Sorry, I haven't got thirty quid. I've only got 20. No, you've only got 10. That makes us square. Well, would you believe it? Yes, so you don't. Here, you here. Come here. You'll have to wait till those gentlemen have paid the balance. Well, when will that be? Just as soon as they've tested my formula in London. Yes, but that might not be for months and months and months. Well, what the interest you'll get? What, 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 what interest? Well, you're just looking forward to your money, you yes. see. What I want to know is... Never mind, I don't want to hear. Let's get over here sweeping. Yes, yes, that's all I do. Get over here sweeping. Oh, pick on me. Anybody think I was a boy? 
Well, no, they're the men just put together. Who oh, was this the worst of it here? Me. Who oh, was this to drink out of the crack cup? Me. Who gets no fried bread in the morning? Me. Why well, don't you stand up for yourself? No use. You wouldn't listen to me. You wouldn't listen to me. I'm just a poor little old Cinderella. <laughs> Wasted six months trying to figure that out before. That'll be Hank, open the gates. I tell you, it's the craziest stunt I've ever heard of. You said that about the bullion job at Heston. Yeah, but bullion and crown jewels are two different things. It's impossible, Chief. To start with, there's no way of getting in the tower. That's just it. There was no way, but I... To get it? As good as. There's just a little matter of when we collect it. Great. We told them we wanted it for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> they spotted it. Sure, you never saw three goofier guys. Did you get a good look at the engine? It's identical. Where's the boat? The only difference is theirs has shafts and the tower engine has hand gear. We'll soon fix that. Show them to Derry here. He still believes we can't do it. I still don't say. Now, this, in the case of a fire in the tower, this engine is allowed to go in and out without question. And 20 minutes is all we want. Underweight and a half of soap, 14 gallons of K2SO4. Yes, hand me up another dozen. Oh, you know, this had been cheaper. We'd have bought it by the barrel. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Something's back on every bottle. Look at all those empties. Good as money in the bank. Six, eight, ten. Oh, that reminds me. What about my tether? It's Friday now. I can do with a bit on account. You, you'll get tons on account if you don't shut up. What I want to know is, do I get my tether by Saturday or don't I? You don't. Oh, all right. Then I hope the invention don't work, see? Cool, there's a friend for you. Putting a curse on it for a measly tenner. Hey, put that down. If I can't get paid one way, I'll take it another for there. You get up there and cut some soap. Go on. The knife's on top. Hurry up. Cut some soap. Soap. I seem to do it. Cut. I'll slice it up quickly. I don't make the lumps too big. If this knife slips, I'll cut me throat. Well, if you do, lean back and don't muck up my formula. Hey, you said it both. Is it? Good. Well, that's that. Uh, now we're going to have some practice for my new turnout apparatus. Turnout apparatus. <laughs> Just a lot of junk. Junk? Are you referring to my patent harness, Clopper? It's more like a poor bread of shop to me. Uh, listen, I'm fed up with you two, Grumbling. You're going to use that gear and like it. We'll have a practice turnout now. What, now? They'll be open in ten minutes. Oh, let me. The only turnout you understand is time, gentlemen, please. Go on, follow me. Well, here we are. Now then. I turn the wheel, the horse box opener, and at the same time, I pull these chains, you see? And the wallop in the stable slaps the horse sparkly on the, uh, uh, well, whichever way he's standing, and he comes out onto the third table. I know, it says, who's been walloping my porridge? <laughs> oh, very funny, very funny. Yes, well, I said I was going to make an iron fire for the day, and I've done it. Now, uh, I've been... Hey, uh, hey, hey! Oh, no, you don't. You come back here. Come on. We're going to try this. Now, you ready? Go! The alarm rings. Down the pole. Out with the horse. Down with the turntable. Down with the shaft. On with the harness. And out we go. They are seven and a half seconds. Mm. We made a mark getaway, didn't we? Yes. yes. We're still here. Well, of course we're still here. I'm just trying to explain it to you, thickhead. I mean, I've been lying awake at night thinking I could be done. Yes, and I've been lying awake at night thinking how I've been done. If you only let the picture blood out that engine, I'd have had my tenor for now. Now, listen, once and for all, that engine's staying in my possession till I've had a chance of demonstrating my formula in London. Yes, and why wait for London? Why not have a fire here and tell London all about it? Well, London, London, London. Don't, don't you understand? It's got to be a big fire. Something London's bound to hear about. Something that my invention can put out so quickly it'll be a sensation. There's nothing big enough here. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, I might never live to see a fire as big as that. Don't worry. You will where you're going in a few years' time. Oh, Oh, for me? Club to pay. Huh? Club to pay. What well, for? The stamps come off. Well, you don't expect me to pay for that, do you? I mean, I didn't just stick it on. The club to pay anyhow. Oh. Well, Albert? Got any money? I've got a ten pound note you can't have. Oh. Well, well, you better leave the letter. We'll uh, pay tomorrow. Yes, regulations. No, I didn't know letter. Good evening. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That letter may be important. Well, it must have some change somewhere. Albert, turn out your pockets. Yeah, that's all I've got. A penny. Right. 
Penny, there's an empty with stoppers on it. Give me the letter. I suppose it's all right. Of course it's all right. There's on it. It's legal tender. Well, we're very busy now. Good night, my man. Good night. Good night. Hey, where do you think you're going? I think the fire. What fire? Fire at the petrol station. What petrol station? Petrol station next door to the town hall. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, it's a big fire. You mean to tell them somebody just lit it? Oh, well, we may be in time now. You what? Somebody just lit it. You mean to tell me you, you shot it up by yourself? That's right. Put it up for For my ten quid. Here you are. I told you. I told you. Oh, oh, oh. Blimey. Put it in that criminal. That's been a bit intimidating. Never mind about the argument. Remember what the mayor said. This is a pet case. I don't have fire put out or we are. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, follow me. Oh, Waste of time. It's for you, Mr. Alleman, that set me down. Everything would have worked perfectly if it hadn't been for Dopey's grandfather. I say, I say. But do you know there's a fire? Get out of it! Go on, Alan, go on, raise the harness! Go on! Get out of here. 
Morning, the equipment will be checked. Oh. Uh, hello, yes? Speaking? My house? Yes. Oh, what about it? It's what? It's... Good heavens! What's happening? My house is on fire! Viking! Quick! Get out the engine! Uh, me? Oh, no. Oh, my house is ablaze! Oh, I can't help that. I'm shacked. Oh, but you can't see my house burnt to the ground. Can I? Oh. Oh. Hey, let him have a go at it. He's clever about putting fires out. Yeah. And we'll go and watch it. <laughs> Oh, 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 look at the smoke. Look at it. Uh, he better hurry. <laughs> He's going lovely, ain't he? <laughs> Good Lord. The whole room's on fire. For my sake, man, you you must go. Uh, listen, we'll go on one condition. Yes, yes. You give us back our job. Oh, anything only. Hurry, hurry. Right there. Uh, Real city fire brigade. Forward. <laughs> hurry, boys. Make it snappy. Come on, boys. Okay, Tim. Well. Go on up the back and let's get going. Right. Tim, they're coming back. Come on. I don't want to hear it, like the engine fire. Yes, but I... Don't you know what I say, like the engine fire. I can't like the engine fire. Why not? Because there ain't no engine. What? That fire's done there. It's right, it's gone. Oh. Oh. That is gone too. Hey, who's been turning out our brigade? Oh, what? Oh. 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 Oh, it's from that film company. Oh, yeah, listen. Thanks for the engine. Enclose here with the other ten pounds. Yes. Oh, thank you. Here, 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 that's mine. Yeah, that's mine. There's no time to argue. Get away. We've got a fire to put out. Uh, what, with the engine we haven't got? They can't take liberties like that with me. I'm going to phone that film company and tell them to send it straight back. Fine, and order two ton of coal for the mayor's house while you're about it. Uh, hello? Uh, get me the film studios. Uh, hey? What? Oh. What's the name of the film company? Don't know. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. Nothing on the letter, either. 
Uh, I should know the name of it. What film studios have you got? Hmm? No, no, it's none of those. No. Their representative came and called on me last Monday. I don't know his name, but he's a, he's a thin fella with a bowler hat and a little moustache. No, no, not Charlie Chaplin. What's he say? Oh, he says the mayor's house is on fire. Oh. Well, we'd better start packing. What for? We haven't been packed yet. No, the mayor said he'd give us another chance. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was before we gave him an illuminated address. Okay, you guys, get the shaft off this engine. Oh, I'll be a son of a gun. How did he get in here? He must be not all the time. Yeah, come on, huh? Come on, get up. Come on, get up. 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 Hello? Yes, speaking. Uh, you what? <laughs> they found Percy. No, it's no use us coming to fetch him. You better keep him. Yeah, he's sacked the same as us. Where is he? Whopping Old Stairs Police Station. He's been pinched. Whopping Old Stairs? Blimey, that's in London. How'd you get there? Yes. I take up the engineer and Percy followed him. Yeah. Listen, Inspector Orley, what does it matter who's got him? We haven't got him and we haven't got a job either. Got a knife? That's another thing we haven't got. Oh, well, I've got a feel in my pocket. And I know what's in those pockets, so don't try and knock anything off. Nothing worth knocking off. Hey, that's your foot, Mr. Pay letter. You haven't even opened it yet. I'm not surprised. What were those two fires and you two fatheads? I've no time for anything. Yeah, it reminds me. I wonder how that fire's going on. Ah, oh, don't talk, Sean. Hey, listen to this. London Fire Brigade Headquarters. Dear sir, our analyst reports favorably on your formula. Could you be available to demonstrate here at 3 o'clock on the 15th? We're made. That'll teach you the sack us. 15th? Yes, tomorrow. You can't do it. Yeah, oh, why can't I do it? We haven't got an engine. No? Well, we've got all night to find it, and we're going to. Yeah. Where did they say they had Percy? In Clink. I know that, but which Clink? I remember a place called Whacking Big Steps. A place called what? Whacking Big Steps. Whacking Big Steps. Whooping old stairs. Oh. Ah. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, hello. Is the, uh, is the fire out yet? Oh, yes, you'll be the burnt out. Arrest those men. He's a white draft horse. Yes, he's got the hair on his ankle. Uh, yeah, that's the name of Percy. Yes, here it is. It was brought in at 5.45. Do you know when he was found if he had a fire engine on him or not? Don't try to be funny. Is this your horse or isn't yes. it? Of course it's our horse. Well, there's five shillings to pay. Five shillings? I mean, do you have to bail him out? A shilling police fee and four shillings for his food. Well, I mean, what are you been giving him? Chicken? He's had two buckets of hay and chopped oats. Yes. Chop coach? Oh, he's to give him sawdust. He doesn't know the difference. Look, you're wasting my time. Sign here, give me the five shillings and take the horse away. All right, well, where is he? He's tied up in the yard. What? Hurting the toes of that cop of his? Oh, hey, if that horse gets dropped, Titus, I'll report you to the RSPCA. There he is. Yes, he may be mounting the golden horse. That's him, Daddy. That's him, Daddy. That's him, Daddy. your whiskers out of his mouth, will you? We've got work to do. Go on, untie him. Oh, I don't like him. Whoa, Percy! Whoa, whoa! Good boy, uh, Alice. Where'd you leave the engine? Was it that way? Uh, well, was it that way? Well, was it straight ahead? Uh, he don't know much, do he? No, but even that, he knows more than you. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's shout fire and see which way he goes. Good. Fire! Fire! Uh, any more bad ideas? Yeah, let's tie him up again and go back home. Oh, that woke him up. What did you do? Well, I only kicked that in. Did you? Here. Now, look. When I say 
take this team, we'll all shout fire, you see? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> At two minutes to twelve, Jim will cut the fire alarm wires which run along this wall of the tower. At midnight exactly, Len and Mike will be at this spot with our smoke box. Are they both set? Yes, they went in with the visitors this afternoon. The van will be here. And twelve strikes, you will pass in as the tower fire brigade. You will make straight for the jewel tower, leaving the engine here so as to block that open. Hank and Jim, you both know your job. All right, very well. Well, that's all. The success of this plan depends on every move being timed to the split second. It's now 11.33 exactly. Then we'll leave here in four minutes, so get along. Ah, right. right. They're locked. Hey, what do we do now? Let's ring the bell and ask for our engine back. Don't be silly, we can't do that. We don't have the engines there. We've only got Percy's word for it. Let's get through a crack in the door. There ain't any crack. Yeah, I'll give you a bunk up, then you can climb over the top. Yeah. What, up there? Yeah. yeah. Well, suppose I sit on those spikes. Well, if you sit on them firmly, they won't hurt you. Yeah? Well, you try that. I'm going to try the wall. It's high still here. Yeah, but there's no spikes. We'll never get over there. Oh, yes, we will. Our bottle, turn Percy around. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll get on the Percy's back, and then you two climb up on my shoulders, you see? Come on. Come on. Oh, Percy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Right, oh, come on, let's make a start. I'll get up first, then you two get up onto my shoulders, and when you both get the top, you pull me up after you. Give me a bunk up, come on. Here, here, here. How do we get Percy up? How do we get Percy up? What on earth do I get Percy up for? So we can get down the other side. Uh, all right, all right. I'll bring Percy up under my arm. Here, take my helmet. Right. Wait a minute. I'm coming up there. Come on, Jerry, come on. Right, now climb up onto my shoulders. All right, make your hand into a stick. What have I got to hang on with me, Keith? That's how they do it in the circus. I suppose you'd like me to jack a couple of other you at the same time, would you? Go right up here, up here. Take it still up there. Easy. Oh, 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 Doggone horse again. Come on, come on now, come on now. Get out of here, come on. Beat it, come on, come on. Scram, get out of here. Go on, beat it, beat it. On your way. Oh. I thought he said he saw Percy galloping down the street. I said I heard the clatter of hoofs. Uh, your brain's battling, that's what he was. Now we don't know where we are. Cool, look. Windsor Castle. Yeah, Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle's in Scotland. That's the Tower of London. Where the swear word tower is. No, that's in Blackpool. Oh, yeah, and I wish you were there with it, too. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, where did you come from? Oh, I thought I heard him. Here, the engine can't be far away. Uh, didn't they say they were making an historical film? Yes. 
Well, then, why did they fill me in the tower? Follow me. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Horse, you go there. Uh, uh, please don't match us in the horse. Vance, why didn't give the countersign? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go on, push off, us. I'll call the guard out. Up it, go on. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to ask you if you... Uh, sorry, there there you, you are. I didn't want to ask you if you didn't say what's filming you. Now, what are you doing, this man? No, shoot me. Pinchy! Uh, huh? Oh, I say, mister. Uh, right, uh, right. Please, huh? I, I don't interrupt your work. Mark uh, time! Travel you, know you want. Uh, could you tell me if they're filming in there? Filming? Yeah, yeah, ask him about our engine. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're looking for a fire engine like this. Have you seen it anywhere? Of course I have. It's in the West Bastion. All right. Uh, eh? In the West Bastion. Well, did you hear what he said? And how do you ask him a civil question? Well, he told you he's one of those round four things in the West Corner. Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, I see. Hey, there you are. Car five the gate. Hey, they know something about it. Where? Yeah. Hmm. Know something? Let me they've got it. Oh. Oh. I think they're knocking it off. Yes. Hey, anybody there? All right, boys, get her out and turn around. There's only a few seconds to go. Thank you. 
Try to get away with the crown jewels? We would have got away with them, too, if it hadn't have been for this muck. Hey, what is it, anyway? Oh, whatever it is, it seems to have made a pretty good job of you, Philip. Just what I was thinking. I'd like to meet the men responsible for this. 